Let everyone's thanksgiving be received this morning. Let it go as a sweet savour unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. And in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please can we give the Lord a clap and say good, 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 God. Hallelujah. In this Shiloh Thanksgiving service, I shall be speaking unto us in the second service, part two. What are we thanking God for as a commission? In this second service, I shall be speaking to us. What are we thanking God for as a commission? Please, I want you to know this morning that we are thanking God for diverse fulfillment of prophecy by the raw hand of God. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 21 to 22, the book of Deuteronomy Chapter 18, verse 21 to 22. And if thou say in thy heart, How shall we know the word which the Lord has spoken? And verse 22. When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the things follow not, nor come to pass, that is the things which the Lord had not spoken, but the prophet has spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. And also the book of First King, chapter 8, verse 15. We are here to thank God for the diverse fulfillment of prophecy. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, which has done this, with his mouth unto David my father, and that with his hand fulfill it, saying. So why are we thanking God? We are here this morning to thank God for his goodness and mercy over our lives. As individuals and as a commission. And before we begin to count our blessings, what is thanksgiving in order to broaden our understanding? It is giving glory to God for his mighty deed in our midst, both as individuals and as a church. Please listen attentively one more time. Thanksgiving is giving glory to God for his mighty deed in our midst, both as a church and as individuals. And you agree with me in this commission that Thanksgiving has become our tradition. In the book of Philippians 4, verse 6, Philippians 4, by 6, it makes it clear to us in that scripture, it says, with prayer and what? Thanksgiving. He said, be careful for nothing, but in prayer and what supplication. With what? Thanksgiving. Let your request be made unto God. Please, I want us to know this morning that that is God's order. To receive the complete package, that is God's order. And as we complete this spiritual process... By thanking him this morning, everything that is due to you shall be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 100 also make it clear to us in verse 3. Psalm 100 verse 3. He said, know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. That is, there is nothing we can pride in but to give glory to God. There is no achievement we can pride in but to give glory to God. He said, know ye 
that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus as you complete this spiritual process by thanking him everything concerning you shall be perfected. I say everything concerning you shall be perfected. We are here as a commission to count our blessings. And we have numerous blessings of God from inception. In the prophetic world declared in 1982 in live transmission through the screen. From one spot across the nation of the world was unveiled. At Shiloh 2019. 145 nations. Can we give the Lord a clap? We say, Good, good God. <laughs> we are connected to this prophetic event to the glory of God. God declared to a servant in 1982 that from a spot, numerous nations will gather. And 145 nations were connected to this prophetic event. To God alone be all the glory. Listen to me, we can't stop counting our blessings. And as we count them all, God will keep raining his blessing upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Also in 1982, a prophetic word came through saying, You will soon see millions gathering to hear the word and today is a reality at shiloh 2019 about two million worshipers are you clapping unto the lord <laughs> gathered in nigeria across our various churches and others listen to me god will never deny himself over 18 million people also gather connected to facebook over 3 million people connected via YouTube platform to the glory of the Lord. Listen to me, I have a good news for you. You are the next this morning. I say you are the next this morning. Also, counting our blessings through a prophetic word that came in 1994. Mission to Africa was unveiled. Today... God has given this commission a strong presence in 42 nations of Africa. Can we give the Lord a clap? No 42 villages, no 42 cities. Are you clapping unto the Lord? 42 nations. To God alone be all the glory. In the book of Lamentation chapter 3 verse 37. Lamentation chapter 3 verse of 37 he said who is he that said and it cometh to pass when the lord commanded it not we are seeing it happening because god is one behind it and by prophetic word also that came in september 1998 faith Tabernacle was built within a year. Can we give the Lord a clap? Within a year. What man said was impossible became possible in the hand of God. I pray for you in the new era of no limitation. Every form of impossible shall be a walkover for you. I say shall be a walkover for you. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 9. 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 9. He will keep his feet of his servant. And the wicked shall be silenced in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. We can't forget the wonder double prophetic agenda. That was unveiled in May 4th 2015. The church has continued to grow. Can you shout hallelujah? Supernaturally since then. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 11. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 11. 
the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as ye are and bless you as he had promised. Every one of us we have something attached to this wonder double by the hand of God over our lives. Know that God increases us, not only that God increases us, numerous uncountable testimonies is attached to this agenda. To God alone be all the glory. We can also forget in 2019 a prophetic word also came. The planting of 5,000 new churches that was unveiled and this was fully delivered within six months. Can you shout hallelujah? Are you clapping to God? Are you sure you are clapping, 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 clapping? To God alone be all the glory. Psalm 126 verse 1 to 2. Psalm 126 make it clear. It says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. We are like them that dream. And verse 2. He said, Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then they say, Among the Eden, the Lord has done great things. This new season, your enemy will carry the banner of your testimony. <laughs> Am I talking to someone? Let your amen be loud. It's evident to all that God is on our side. And as we keep praising him, we keep seeing more and more and more. For God that answered prayer, can we give him the clap? He said, good, good God. For this is blessing our midst. Are you sure you are clapping unto the Lord? To him alone be all the glory. But why must we give thanks? Very important. Why must we give God thanks? It is a debt we owe him. It is a debt we owe God. In the book of Luke chapter 17, from verse 17 down, we go to 19. From verse 17 to 19. And Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten claims? But where are the nine? They are not found that return to give glory to God. Save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made the all. Now listen carefully. This is the very statement of Jesus. Where are the nine? And probably God is asking someone this morning, where are you? I know what I did. I know how I rescued your life and destiny. Where are you? I pray this morning that you will respond to God dancing. Amen. I say you will respond to God this morning celebrating. Amen. I say you will respond to God this morning dancing. Amen. If you are the one, let your amen be loud. Amen. Psalm 100 also make it clear to us that we are not the one that create ourselves. It is God that creates us. Psalm 100 verse 3. He said, no, in case if you don't know that God is the Lord over your life. is the one that has made you and not we ourselves. When you see a person giving credence to a product instead of the manufacturer, there is something wrong with that individual. When you mention Samsung, you talk about electronics. So when you see Samsung product, you give credit to Samsung. No matter what the product performs, it is what Samsung has inputted that makes it so. 
No matter the activity, no matter your success, no matter, God is behind and the glory must return back to him. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, I, I, my, my, I, will be dead in your life forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's why in the winning camp, the winners come. Every event we quickly ensure that we pay our debt by giving him thanks. At the beginning of every month, we blow the trumpet by thanking him for ushering us to the new month. At the end of every month, we do the same. And at the end of the year, it has been announced already to ensure that we pay what we are due to God for. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, the blessing that you receive in this Shiloh shall be perfected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Why must we give God thanks? Number two. To preserve our blessings. Please, if you ask a farmer, he will tell you that it's not enough to harvest the crops and put the crops in the storehouse. Every farmer knows that the crops need to be preserved in order to benefit from what he carries. It must be preserved. Thank God for what we receive in this year, Shiloh. But what preserve what you receive like a farmer is thanksgiving. Listen to me, that is God's order. That is God's order. That is God's order. You want to preserve like a farmer? If you harvest a corn and you put the corn in the store without chemical to preserve it, there are sudden insects that goes to the void. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, your blessing in this Shiloh, no devil will devoid. I say no devil will devoid. I say no devil will devoid. I say no devil will devoid. In the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 1 to 3, he said, Now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. If ye will not hear, and if ye will not lay to her to give glory unto my name, said the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse on, upon you, say God forbid. I will curse your blessing. Yea, I have caused them already. Because ye do not lay to heart, behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your solemn feast. And one shall take you away with it. So thanksgiving is the spiritual preservance. Am I talking to someone this morning? It's your spiritual preservance. And as you do that this morning, everything that you receive in Shiloh shall be preserved. Why must we give God thanks? Number three. To perfect our blessings. Please, I also want you to hear. Thank God for your list. But I can tell you this morning, that is what your eyes can see. In the book of Luke, chapter 17, from verse 16. 
I pray for you today, your blessings shall be perfected. I say your blessings shall be perfected. I say your blessings shall be perfected. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back with a what? With a loud voice. Luke 17, 15 to 19. And fell on his face at his feet. Give him what? Thanks. It was a what? Samaritan. Now, listen carefully. When this Samaritan appeared before God, there was one thing that was his desire to be healed. But God knew that that was not the complete package. God knew. Because you can be healed and something else comes again. So God's provision package is far more than the healing you are crying for. So when the nine, when the one appear, God knew that the process was not complete yet. So Jesus asked this question, where are the other nine? I need to complete the process. Thank God for what is in your list. Listen to me. There are more to it that God wants to deliver to you. I said there is more to it God wants to deliver to you. That's why Jesus asks, we are at the nine. And he looks at the one, since you are the only one that appeared, you will receive the complete package. And he looked at him, you are made whole. Listen to me, your complete package. As the Lord live it, that supersedes your expectation. That is God's agenda for your life in this year, Shiloh shall be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you truly believe, let your amen be loud. Under the atmosphere of thanksgiving, you receive more than what you've written or what you can see. God goes far to deliver to you beyond your expectation. And number four, why must we give God thanks? To multiply our blessings. You know what the Bible says in Proverbs? It said the part of what? The righteous. It's as a what? The what? Shine it unto a perfect way. Your blessings is not limited to Shiloh. He said, but for the part of the just, it's as a what? A shining light. He said, that what? Shine it more and more unto the perfect day. Shiloh is an annual event, but the impact goes far beyond it. So as you thank God today, every blessings that you receive will keep increasing your hand. You know when Jesus asked, Jesus was under the atmosphere of a revival. In John chapter 6, verse 1 to 11, but in verse 9, in verse 9. And there was a lad here which had how many? Five barley loaves and two fishes. But what are they among so many? Listen to me. You may look at your challenges and say, can this blessing Shiloh handle it? Listen to me. As you believe God and his prophet and every declaration, whatever issue of your life forever shall go down to the drain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But Jesus knew the secret. He said, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. That's why this shallow sacrifice you drop shall be the minimum your hand will ever handle. He said, bring it. And he gave thanks 
And because he gave thanks, they started to distribute. Now, listen to me. On that thanksgiving, multiplication, which is an act of the miraculous, is always the order. The moment they break the bread and the fish, just within a second of giving the fish and the bread, the thing multiply again. They break, they give, within a second, it multiply again. As you give thanks, nothing in your hand that you receive in this shiloh will ever die forever in the mighty name of Jesus. We serve a God of multiplication. In the book of Acts 2, verse 47. Acts 2, verse 47. He said, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily. They were praising him. And the supernatural became the occurrence. Now, that connotes that praise is not ordinary. Praise is a spiritual exercise. What you do, and suddenly favor whose and breaks barrier, increase what seems to be small in your hand to be big. I pray for you today. You may look small, but you won't end the year small. Yeah. Your career, you may look like the ordinary in the lower kada. You won't head in the lower kada. In your business, concerning your marital life, there shall be a change for you. Yeah. Listen to me, this can only be an occurrence if you know Jesus. You know what the Bible says in the book of John 3.3? 3. It says, And Jesus said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be what? Born again, he can't see what we are talking about. Your coming to Shiloh will just be in vain. You can't see. That testimony you desire, you can't see. That new story, that realm, that unlimited realm, you can't see if you are not born again. He said, except you are born again, you are not permitted to see. Jesus is the only world. He said, I'm the way. And as you accept him this morning as your Lord and personal Savior, whatever thing the enemy has cheated you off, whatever thing you've been deprived of, that is your heritage in this Shiloh, no devil will take it away from you. I say no devil will take it away from you. I say no devil will take it away from you. But you must be born again. He said, if you are not born again, you are not permitted to see. You have a gl glorious destiny. Yes. You have a glorious marital destiny. Yes. You have a glorious business destiny. You have a glorious career destiny. But you can't see until you are born again. And what a privilege to ensure that you don't miss any of the, best, of the blessing that God has packaged in this year, Shiloh. When great multitudes are sharing their testimony, as the Lord liveth, you also Let share yours. Let me experience the reality of a flourishing life, a flourishing business, a flourishing career, in the mighty name of Jesus. Flourishing in my health, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, honor your word in our lives. Honor your word in our lives. Father, honor your word in our lives. Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and God blessed him in all things. 
That shall be my testimony. Genesis 24 verse 1. Father, by reason of this thanksgiving, establish me in the reality of a flourishing life up to old age like Abraham. Establish me in the reality of a flourishing life. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. They shall bring forth fruit even in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. Lord, honor your word in my life. My business must flourish. In my health, I must flourish. In my career, I must flourish. On my job, I must flourish. Honor your word in my life. No more reduction. No more stagnation. Forward ever, backward never shall be my story. Up to old age. The same way this commission has never known a better yes today. The same way this commission has never known a better last year. Lord, let steady continuous progress be my Lord and portion. Lord, let steady continuous progress be my Lord and portion by the force of this thanksgiving. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to yet celebrate God in high praise. That's what we came to do this morning majorly. And praise, I want you to do it with your might like David. And I see God perfecting all the miracles he has wrought in your life in this Shiloh 2019. In the name of Jesus Christ, he will perfect your health and everything else that concerns you. In the precious Lord, name of we Jesus. give you all the glory. glory. Let that which I have done in every life be permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in peace. Amen. The presence of God goes with you. Amen. Everything will keep working together for your good. Amen. All through this week, no evil report. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. your going out is blessed, your coming in is blessed. Amen. Whatever you lay your hands upon to do shall prosper. The favor of God will come past you like a shield. So shall it be in Jesus' holy name. Surely, God's goodness and his mercies shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of my God forever and ever. Amen. Peace. I have dominion. And I take dominion. Shiloh 2019. Breaking limits. God bless you.